Hello everyone, welcome to Home Cooking with me Hima Subramanian. My favorite breakfasts are idlis and I usually enjoy them with some nice chutneys and sambar. Today I am going to share a simple yet delicious idli podi which is called gunpowder otherwise with you guys. So let's get started and check it out. To the pan, add a teaspoon of oil. First I am going to roast half cup of chana dal and quarter cup of urud dal. Roast the dals for about a minute. Next, add about quarter cup of peanuts. So you can use peanuts with or without skin. You don't want to keep the flame on high and roast it too quickly. So you can see the dal and the peanuts have got this lovely golden color to it. Next, I'm going to add quarter cup of roasted chana dal. As the chana dal is already roasted, I'm adding it in the end. Roast this for about two to three minutes. So these ingredients have roasted to a nice golden brown color. This is the color that you're looking for. Turn off the stove and keep these ingredients aside. We have to cool these ingredients. To the same pan, add about half teaspoon of oil. Next, I'm adding the red chilies. I'm adding two varieties of red chilies here. Ten guntu red chilies because this is going to give you a lot of heat. That is the spice that comes from these chilies. I'm also adding ten Kashmiri red chilies. So this is going to give you that nice rich red color. If you don't have the Kashmiri red chilies, you can also use the Vyagde chilies. Roast the chilies on low flame. The chilies have roasted nicely. You can see the nice color change. Turn off the stove and keep them aside. To the same pan, add a teaspoon of oil. Now I'm using gingerly oil. Add one cup of freshly grated coconut. There are a couple of options. Instead of fresh coconut, you can use dry desiccated coconut or the copra. Add a few cloves of garlic. And add a few bits of tamarind. So this is going to give you a light tanginess. And garlic will add a very nice subtle flavor to the podi, that is the, the idli podi or the gun powder. Those of you who don't want to use garlic or who you, if you don't like the taste of garlic, you can simply avoid garlic and just follow all the other instructions and the ingredients as per the recipe. Remove the coconut from the pan and let it cool completely. To the mixer jar, add the red chilies first and grind them. Add half of the roasted dals and peanuts. Add the remaining. Now add the roasted coconut, garlic and the tamarind. To this I'm going to add about one and a half teaspoons of rock salt. If you don't have rock salt, you can just use regular table salt and half teaspoon of hing, that is aspirata powder. Finally, I'm just going to add one teaspoon of sugar just to balance the flavors a bit. You can see the idli podi that is the gunpowder looks absolutely fantastic. Remove from the mixer jar and keep it aside. Now we'll start steaming the idlis. To the idli plate, I'm just putting a little bit of the idli batter. Place it into the steamer and cook the idlis. So after 10 minutes, you can see the idlis look perfect. Remove the idlis from the idli plate. To the idli, pour generous amount of oil or ghee. And add generous amount of the gunpowder or the idli podi and just rub it all over the idli. You can rub it on the top and the bottom. So you can serve the idlis in this manner. So this is one way of serving them. So you can see it's coated beautifully. The other way is to serve the fresh hot steaming idlis with the gun powder that is the idli podi by the side. Add generous amount of the idli podi to the plate. Pour enough oil so it soaks it all up. Now dip the steaming idlis into the idli podi and enjoy. So I have shown you two ways you can enjoy these nice hot steaming idlis with this delicious gun powder. 
Now, I've really enjoyed making it and we enjoy it at home. So I think you guys must try it and post your comments in the comment section. So you can bottle the remaining idli podi that is the gunpowder and you can store it at room temperature. This will be good for about a week to 10 days or if you want to keep it longer you can refrigerate it. So you can see how simple and tasty this idli podi is. Now it's best to store it in a nice airtight container or a jar and you can leave it at room temperature for about 2-3 to three days but if you want to keep it for a longer period of time make sure you refrigerate it and you can enjoy it with nice steaming hot idlis. Do try the recipe, enjoy and share it with your family and friends. The second edition of our home cooking book is now available on our website 21frames.in. I'll give you the link in the description, you can go and check it out. The book is currently available only in India for now, so you can place your orders on 21frames.in.